Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Both Barrels. I'm Bern, this is my father Curtis. Last time we did an episode on an aperitif, which is a uh, Norwegian or Scandinavian beverage, and we decided to also try uh, another traditionally Nordic sort of beverage. It's typically Nordic, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, mead. Yeah, it's a it's a mead, a honey wine. Right. Yeah. Well, what can you tell us about this bottle in particular? Well, this bottle in particular is interesting. Uh, it's called Wild Men. It's from a, the Big Loss Meadery in Gillette, Wyoming. And I, I tried several of theirs, and they're all really interesting. They have a little bit of an IPA hop to them. This is the least hoppy of the three, and this is the one I like the most because you know I'm not a real hop fan. It is a really interesting mead. It's not just honey wine. It's got some other things going on with it. And if you go to their website, each each of their meads has a little story to go with it. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, the scent is interesting. It's not like uh, a normal the mead. other meads I've had, which are typically more nectary, more sweet. This has kind of a interesting sour smell to it. Yeah. It's also very cloudy. It and is. Most of the meads I'm used to are pretty transparent. Yeah. So you said this one has hops in it, I believe. Yeah, I think all of theirs have hops in it. Unique citrusy smell. The flavor is very mead. There's some other things going on there, but it's definitely a mead flavor. Yeah, that is not a dry mead either. That's no, pretty sweet. It is a sweet mead. It's a and syrupy, I kind of like that. It's syrupy, nectary. Uh, let's give it another taste. That's really nice. Yeah, last time we talked about uh, this Tagle Harpa, which my father and I built. Uh, and we also have two other Tagle Harpas that we finished a little while ago that we thought we'd show off. Um, there's this one, which I'm still working or waiting to get the right strings for it. These are a little bit light. I want to get some heavier strings on it and tune it to be more lower, and this will be the bass Tagle Harpa. And then this one is the uh, teeny tiny tenor Tagle Harpa. And the interesting thing about this one is we went down to the Kuwait Exchange, yep. we got a bunch of scrap wood, and we put it together out of just scraps and it turned out to be a really nice little instrument. Yeah, it's, uh, but once again, the string ordering isn't quite right because I've strung it like a guitar and I don't think you're supposed to do it like that. But it's, uh, it's a- We're just learning. Yeah, we're, we're learning still and it's And a when process. you play, people may not notice, but when you play, you're changing the pitch by moving your fingers on the strings. Yep, there's no fretting involved like with, uh, well, you know, a violin or a guitar or anything like that. You're essentially changing the position of where the nut would be with your finger. Yeah. To alter the pitch. It's it's a it's an interesting instrument. This one's kind of small and screechy, so I've called it banshee. Uh, this one almost sounds like a cello almost. in comparison. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a way lower, deeper sounding instrument. I'm kind of most proud of this one, but they're all unique and they all have their own special little qualities about them. Yep. And, and would you like to tell people what these runes mean? Yeah, there's uh, these two different runes I decided to put on here. This bottom one here kind of looks like a... Uh, let's see if we can get a good look at it with that. Maybe not, maybe we can. That bottom rune it kind of looks like a K, it means creativity, and the one that's up above is the rune for music, apparently, at least that's according to Google searches. I think they look very nice, actually, I think they turned out well. It was uh, my it first... It was a fun, fun project to make. Yeah, it was my first attempt at wood burning. Uh, this one also has, I guess all three of them have those little runes down there, but this one also has some nice uh, moon, crescent moons here that I burnt and I'm kind of proud of that. And you know, we're not experts on tackle harps or making tackle harps. We just thought it would be a fun project to do. So this this was uh, a project that we've been doing and we haven't been shooting a lot of video because it does take a little bit of time to put some instruments together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think the next project you want to work on is building an electric sitar. So maybe once that's done, we should try to, I don't know, do another Indian if it uh, ever Middle Eastern, done. yeah, some yeah. sort of Middle Eastern or Indian liqueur. Um, we've already done a whiskey, I yeah. believe. I don't know what we'll find, but maybe we can find something. Anything else we should add, or do you think uh, I think we've covered it? All? I think we've covered it. All right. Well, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. 
Uh, be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions or any suggestions. I'll try to get around to answering them if I can. Thank you for watching.